Hello, and welcome to This Week from City Hall. My name is Victor Taylor, Alderman for the Second Ward, City of New Bern. And I want to say a couple, just one thing. City of New Bern, Craven County, we have a lot of agencies here that does good work, great work. What I have with me tonight, an ag agency that does marvelous work. I'm so pleased that they are in the city of New Bern that I just don't know what to do. And I'm, I'm, I'm so honored to have this time to do an interview with the agency that I really love because you all do some great work. Today I have Ms. Beth Cooper, the director of Mercy Clinic, and beside her we have Charles Cushman, the Mercy supporter. So at this time what I'm going to do is just let you all talk a little bit and tell me, tell the people at home a little bit about Mercy Clinic and anything else you all want us to know what's going on with Mercy Clinic today and tomorrow. Ms. Beth or Charles, whichever one. Great. Thank you, Alderman. I appreciate your letting us be on here tonight to share about Mercy Clinic. Um, Mercy, as many people uh, are aware, has been around uh, New Bern for 21 years. Um, but there are still some folks out there that don't know what we do, and so we're very happy to get the word out about that. Um, one thing that I'm very proud of is that we're a comprehensive health care for the folks that come to us. So we provide health care to um, folks who are uninsured in Craven, Pamlico, and Jones County and are of low income, so their income is 200% uh, or less of the poverty um, guideline level. So what we offer is primary care, we have specialty clinics such as women's health, orthopedics, we have a diabetic educator who provides case management and support to our diabetic patients. We have a full pharmacy as well at our clinic. Uh, we have a lab that provides um, AC1 checks and blood pressure checks and those type of things. So we really are comprehensive, and those are the things that we do on site. Now additionally, we have several community partners like Carolina East, a CCHC, Carolina Orthopedic, Singleton Vision, I could go on and on, Relo Pharmacy, um, and so these folks provide other services, medical services, that we cannot provide on site. We refer them to, the, to these partners, and they provide these services to our patients uh, pro bono. So um, we receive over 500,000 in in-kind from these partners for services for our patients per year. And we're able to provide over 5,000 worth of medical services per year per patient at a cost of 684 because of these partnerships. So that's something we're very proud of and, um, and we like to let, let folks know that. That one, we're not a Band-Aid, we're, we're truly a comprehensive health care and we're able to do it at an affordable cost for the folks who cannot afford health insurance. Okay. If a person is not sure if they are in the poverty level 200%, how can they find out if they are? Do, can they come to your office, your agency, uh, and what do they have to bring with them? What do they have to have? Okay. So they can call into our office, which is 252-633-1599. Um, Tuesday or Thursday are the best days to give a call, and anybody that answers the phone can give the eligibility requirements. Um, and then our eligibility office is open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to 3, so that's a walk-in at any time. Um, but if you're just looking to see the um, federal poverty level for your size family, you could call and we could give that answer over the phone pretty quickly. Um, people generally need to bring their tax return um, and their w W-4s. Um, and their uh, a photo ID. So that's, those are the prime things that we need in order to determine their eligibility. I'm sorry, you said Tuesday through Thursday or Tuesday? Tuesday and Thursday Tuesday. are our clinic days. Yep. Okay, and the times are? Uh, that for eligibility for new patients, that would be between 10 and 3. They could come in at any time. Um, we don't take a patient's uh, appointments. It's first come, first serve. Okay. Okay. Um, you said they had to bring the... Um, their tax returns tax that they have it. Mm -hmm. Yes, if they, what if they were in an unemployed for the last year? Uh, they don't have to bring it or they still can just uh, bring an ID card? And bring their ID card and then um, there are other forms if they don't have a tax return that they can provide for us. Okay. okay. Uh, you, you gave a phone number. Uh, what is the actual address of Mercy Clinic? It's 1315 Tatum Drive. It's across from the hospital. 1315 Tatum. Yep, on the corner of Tatum and Professional Drive. Okay. So Tuesday through Thursday, Tuesday and Thursday, um, you said something about Wednesday. Did you, did 
Did you say when? We're, well, we're open. Our, our clinic is open every day, but we, we um, provide service to patients on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thursdays. Yeah, something. that's when our docs are there and our lab is open and so forth. Okay. So that's when patients come in for, for health care. Um, and Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, our staff and volunteer are very busy getting ready for Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay. Yeah. I heard you say Craven, Pamico, and Jones County. Correct. Those are the communities, counties that we serve. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have one in any other other counties. Everyone has to come here. For in those three counties, um, there is some crossover um, with Hope Clinic um, for uh, Pamico County. Mm -hmm. Um, but pretty much we're it as far as a completely free health Outside. clinic. Yeah. Outside. And so our pharmacy, all, all the medications are free, all our lab work is free, all our uh, patient visits with their doctors are free. Okay. If someone wanted to volunteer at the emergency clinic, is it possible that someone can come out and volunteer? Absolutely. We, we honestly could not survive without our volunteers. We have a staff of um, nine and it equates to about six and a half full-time employees. And then we have about a hundred volunteers. So there's many more volunteers every day in our clinic than there are staff. Okay. Um, and we couldn't do this without them. So they can either go online to our website at mercyclinic.org and you'll see um, a tab for get involved and then you can fill out a volunteer application and we'll contact you from there. Um, if you're, you know, if you're not uh, computer availability, then you can certainly give us a call again at the 633-1599. My extension is 101. I'm happy to take that call and, and help the person get connected for volunteering. Okay. All right. Any more uh, information on the clinic itself? Um, I, don't, I don't think so. Just, um, again, if anybody has any questions, they're certainly free to call us. I do like to let folks know, too, um, sort of people want to know how many patients we serve. And in 2016, we served um, almost 800 patients, and they visited our clinic more than 5,000 times. So, and that's just two days a week that we're doing that. And that's they're coming for doctor's appointments, they're coming for lab work, blood pressure check, pick up their pharmacy, maybe for diabetes education and consultation. Um, so there's a wide range that folks come to visit us, and we're very happy to be there for them. When was the um, Mercy Clinic here in New Bern established? Uh, 1996. Okay. Yeah, with Ralph Redding and Bev Redding were, were one of the founders of, mm -hmm. of the organization. And Ralph was actually volunteering with us right up until March of this year. Okay. All right. Well, Charles, how you doing, Charles? Doing well, Alderman Taylor. Thank you so much for having us here. Uh -huh. um, and, and I am here to talk about uh, one particularly exciting event mm -hmm. related to Mercy Clinic. Yeah. Um, Beth just uh, very uh, eloquently described all the services that Mercy provides. Yeah. And of course, that does come with some expense. Yeah. And so um, we have uh, traditionally done a, a large gala event in the fall. And this year, we uh, decided to mix it up a little bit. Um, and there's going to be a new exciting event and and I want to describe it uh, right now to, to the viewers at home by all means okay so so what we have what we what we're going to do is on Sunday November 5th um, have a, a party unlike any other that Newburn has seen um, we've got six of Newburn's favorite restaurants teaming up together for the first time uh, those six restaurants are 247 Craven the Chelsea, Baker's Kitchen, Famous Restaurant, The Flame, and Persimmons. And I liken this to, you know, the superhero movies that are, that are so popular yeah. today. You've got, you know, Iron Man and the Incredible Hulk. Yeah. They're, they're, they're all exciting on their own. But then yeah. you've got the Avengers when yes. they all come together. <laughs> so, so this is like the Avengers of charity events. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, the, these six chefs from mm -hmm. these six phenomenal restaurants are going to collaborate. They're going to produce one dinner, uh, a seasonal dinner that's going to be for the community, um, and we're going to serve that dinner right down the center line of Middle Street here in downtown New York. Um, we're going to have uh, a five-course meal. There'll be an appetizer station, three plated courses, and then a dessert station. Um, with each of the restaurants uh, working together and, and kind of um, hitting the high marks and specialties that they're known for. There will also be um, a bar with non-alcoholic drinks, beer and wine, um, and it's going to be for 500 people. And we're going to have one single table that's going to stretch from uh, um, Broad Street all the way down to South Front Street, um, just right, right through the Pollock Street intersection. 
um, and and we, we think it's going to be really cool. Uh, the, we're going to have some street musicians um, also walking around greeting the diners as they arrive. We're going to have a band, kind of a, a more low-key uh, dinner band playing in Bear Plaza. Um, the city of New Bern, uh, we owe you guys a great uh, debt of thanks for allowing us to block off yeah. half of downtown on a Sunday <laughs> evening. They better get there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're going to have, as I said, um, Middle Street from uh, South Front Street to Broad Street, as well as one block in each direction of Pollock Street. Um, and so uh, I think it's going to be a fantastic time. Uh, it's going to be an opportunity for everybody to come together, enjoy some of the the finest food that this community has to offer, sit with your neighbors, do it all for a, a, a really good cause, um, and, and enjoy just a beautiful night in downtown New Bern. Oh, outstanding. Uh, we do, we, we have an invitation, don't we? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's, absolutely. I, I need to know that because this is, this is wonderful. This is outstanding. Again, Charles, um, uh, as I asked Beth earlier, if uh, people at home and in Texas, uh, would like to know more about it, how can they contact you? So the, the best way to learn more about this event is probably to go to the website, which okay. is mercyclinic.org. Um, you can see the list of restaurants there. You can see the details about time and date, and I'll mention it again. It's November 5th, which is a Sunday evening, beginning at 5.30 p.m., um, and it'll go until we've eaten all the dessert, basically. Okay. Um, and uh, the... The website also has tickets available there. Mm -hmm. You can buy your tickets online, um, and you can also uh, go by the clinic um, and uh, pick them up there as well. Okay. All right. Um, again, uh, wonderful event, upcoming event. Uh, definitely put it on my calendar, and I wish everyone at home can put it on their calendar because it's an event you do not want to miss at all on November the 5th. Starting at 5.30 down Middle Street, uh, downtown New Bremen. Uh, so, again, anything else, Charles, on this wonderful uh, gig? I'd like to take just a minute and thank some of the people who have kind of helped it come together yes, and make it such what, what we hope will be a huge, successful event. Uh, first is the city, of course, for, for being our host. Um, we also want to acknowledge Gary Curry, who is uh, the individual who's kind of chairing the event and, and, and helping bring it all together. Um, and then, of course, it couldn't take place without our, our sponsors. Um, the premier sponsors for this event are Relo and Carolina Home Medical. Um, and then we also have Chevrolet of New Bern, CCHC, Carolina East, and Sound Bank, um, uh, as well as Williams, Smith, Scarborough, and Gray. Um, all of those local businesses have already signed up and said, yes, we want to be a part of this and are, are contributing to, to help us uh, pull off this uh, huge and unprecedented event. Yes, yes. Okay, Mr. Bell, if you have anything else? just want to say we're very, very excited about it. I'm, um, I've been so impressed with the support that the community has for Mercy Clinic and I'd love for them to be able to come out and celebrate and support Mercy Clinic in this just fabulous, fun event. Okay, again, phone numbers, how do you reach the address? 252-633-1599, my extension's 101, and the address is 13 Tatum Drive, so it's the corner of Tatum Drive and Professional Drive. Mercy, and uh, email again? Um, the, our website is mercyclinic.org, and I do want to remind everybody that Mercy is spelled M-E-R-C-I, um, and my email address is director at mercyclinic.org. Mm -hmm. Happy to hear from you all. Okay. Again, thank you all, Ms. Beth Cooper, for Director of Mercy Clinic, and Charles Cushman, Kush yes, sir. <laughs> supporter of yeah. Mercy Clinic and all they're doing. And again, thank you all for coming out today, um, sharing the, uh, myself and the city uh, of what Mercy Clinic is all about and what they do and when they got started. And thank you for everything that you all are doing for the community. Again, thank you all at home for taking time out of your busy schedule from this week from City Hall. Again, thank you very much. <laughs>